day 866 off the grid and with the generator now tucked back in the shed I've been able to turn my mind to other off-grid pursuits so I've spent a good proportion of today working on the windmill in the shed I've fitted some spade terminals to the windmill itself and I've fitted the male versions of them up the top there on the end of the wire yep I've also now fitted the pipe adapter to the pipe and used some U-bolts there to stop it from slipping down any further and of course temporarily there's a plastic container on top stopping any ingress of rain water because we're bound to get some more rain soon it's a bit windy today to actually be putting up a windmill ironically but I'm not going to rush this I don't want to get a case of what Andy Reynolds calls fire it up at us and fuck something up. One more thing I've done, I've put this additional pole in. It's not much, it's an old piece of native timber of some kind, so even though it's not treated, it'll probably last a long time buried there. That's just a rest because we're getting some weight on the end of this pipe now, even with that steel of that adapter there, so when the pipe comes down, and now rests here while I'm fitting the windmill, which makes things a lot easier. I also did some tree butchery here and chopped off a couple of branches that were in the way. I may cull out a few more of these branches if I feel that they are causing a bit of wind shadow. But hey, there's lots of trees around here causing wind shadow. The turbine I have is a 400 watt Airx turbine, but if I see it producing 50 watts on a reasonably regular basis, I will be more than satisfied with this installation. Yep. It's 50 watts we don't have now, and it's potentially 50 watts that could happen on an overcast day or at night. But right. we'll see. We've got to get it up and find out what we're going to get from it. Yeah. But that's it. Day 866 off the grid. And this is Aeon signing out. Is it? Signing out.